Welcome back to the John Deere Farm here in Farming Simulator 23. Today is going to be a mowing and baling and all kinds of fun stuff today. We're going to have a lot of good times. Let's do it. And that's going to include a couple things that we need to pick up. The first thing that we need to pick up is mower because we have to. So let's go through here. Now, there are a couple different things we can do as far as mowers go. We do have the Chrome Big M. However, that is $380,000. For $300,000 less, we go with the Novacat. And guess what we're going to go with? Yeah. All right. Ooh, this is just my weekend vehicle. Yes, I need each and every one of these. I love it. I don't know what that meant, but we definitely got this. Okay, so this is the first piece of equipment that we need. We'll go and take this over to the field and get started. So since we want to do cattle, of course, we need to give them silage and hay and of course grass i think straw as well i'm not quite sure so in order to be able to do all of that what we are going to do is do a couple different setups from this field because it's still going to be a while before we can buy all the cattle and it's probably going to be a little while before we can afford it so since that is the case i say that we do different sets so like this first one can be uh you know hay or grass or silage silage is probably the better option because it's going to take the longest so we could do that that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking right now is that we do that also having a pretty difficult time going top to bottom with this field uh i don't know how it's going to turn out and i'm also not sure how this is going to turn out because i've never done any mowing ever in a mobile game so i guess this will be fun we're going to find out together how this works pulling forward going down okay i guess we know <laughs> so we're gonna need a windrower for sure i may have accidentally mowed a little bit over by the road as well so i guess that'll be fun so we'll let this guy do his thing this field's probably not going to take very long so we have other things we need to buy tetters windrowers things like that we will need to buy eventually windrowers we could probably go and get this now so we've got one that is 4.7 meters, one that is 9.7. I think you know which one I'm going with. Yeah, the 9.7 for sure. And then we also need a way to wrap bells. So we're gonna need this. Not a bad little setup of tools, looking pretty good. I'm gonna grab, I think, uh, this guy first because we need to use this first. We definitely don't need an 8R to pull this, but Kind of funny though, isn't it? Back over at the farm, the baler, or baler, the mower's doing a good job over there. We're gonna grab a baler and go ahead and kind of prep the uh, spot for this. And then we're gonna go through and I'm actually gonna hire a worker on the windrow. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not, but I don't see why not. The thing is, this guy, you definitely can't hire a worker on this because they have no idea where the swath is. Speaking of the swath, check this out, man. They've mowed a lot of this. This is very good. We'll go and put this over here in like a little staging area. There's that. Uh, here's Mr. John Deere 7R doing a great job. Missing missing a whole a whole lot right here, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing, man? You missed that's a that's a bit of a bit of a spot right there that you messed up. Nonetheless, uh, and now we need something for the windrow. I'm thinking the little John Deere. I think this is gonna be the perfect opportunity for this tractor shine so let's take it over there so let's do it man we have got our mower going doing a good job and now we need this guy it is time to get to window rowing uh, i don't know how well this is gonna work it says that we can hire a worker so that is that is a very good thing but we are not gonna hit this entire squad and i don't know how exactly it's gonna go uh i don't even know if it's gonna hit all of this grass or not uh, the answer to that is definitely no, no, it's not. But it is going to have to come through and and swath into this, I think. I'm really interested to see what happens to this when it gets down to the very end. All right, time to see how is the windrow going to do at the very end and how are they going to turn around? Um, I would imagine it's going to do some merging between these two, but I have no idea. So we need to watch it and find out because I haven't seen anybody else showing off the windrow yet. This might be interesting. Okay, yeah, going around, uh-huh. 
Oh, that swath is going to be way too large. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And they're going to go down right there. Oh, boy. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be able to hit about half of that swath, I think. Cool. Where's... Where is it? Here it is. Wish me luck, everybody. And also earlier in the video, I believe I said that we would need to make grass, hay, straw, everything like that. Um, we don't. We just need to bale grass and turn it into silage. We'll be good to go. Uh, Extreme Game of Fever actually did a video on it. Um, not very much longer uh, than before I'm recording this right now. So uh, huge shout out to him. He does a great job. And uh, not only that, his videos are a lot of fun to watch as well. It looks like we're missing some and it looks like we're gonna miss some i don't think that there's a possibility of me getting in the middle of this entire swath i think this is about as good as i'm gonna do right here and i'm still missing some look at that look at that that's uh, not even acceptable so i need to figure out a way around this because this is not healthy for me making bales Oh, I'm going to have to move that too. All right, let's see how this goes. I think what I might have to do with the uh, with that other guy, yep, that is that is going to just be all up in my way right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this works. We have, uh, we have proven that this works, but it does not work the way that I need it to work. So I'm going to have to, I think, do this job. And I'm going to have to go to the end of every single row and I'm going to have to reset it. Because I just don't know if there's any other way. So here is my uh, game plan. Is to go down and line it up with the center of each swath. I don't, I don't really know any other way to do this. For it to work and be able to, to pick up everything. Because there's just grass everywhere. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to let him go do whatever he wants. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to do what I need to do, which is going to be to try and get rid of some of these bales that are all up in my way. And I'm just going to do my best. I'm going to have to go down through. I'm going to have to go into the center and get to a point where I just unload the bales. I don't think there's any other way around it. All right. So with this one, we're actually doing okay. We, we're, we're picking up 100% of this swath. It is popping bales out like it is going out of style. But I'm able to get the whole thing. So maybe there's something to this. And I just did a really bad job for that first run. But this this is working. How about for this second run around? Can we do this entire run? And the answer to that is very much so no. No, we can't. Man, I even tried. I tried. And, and I think obviously it did not work. It didn't work at all. Oh, and there's also something else that I want to do. I have seen the guys struggling so much with traffic so i'm gonna go in here and we're just gonna prevent any issues we're gonna turn the traffic off so i think i've proven that this is going to take a while it's gonna take a little while so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in in this one at least right here take a break uh, and then we're gonna come back and get everything finished up that needs to be done in the next one. Oh, and yeah we're also gonna be doing silage and buying cattle in the next one to be ready for it.